So I just want to start off by saying that God is so faithful and he is so good. Um, and it's been evident through stories in my life. Um, so yeah, I'll share a little bit of my testimony with you. Um, growing up, my mom, when I was really young, she was Catholic. And when she married my dad, my dad didn't really have a religion. Um, he believed in God, but he um, just wasn't really religious, per se. Um, so growing up, my mom ended up finding the church we go to now and um, became a Christian and so raised us as Christian. Um, my dad went through struggles of trying to find who he was and being very close to leaving us um, for just the success that he was having in life. And that took a really big toll on me. Um, I lost a lot of trust in my dad, and um, I think it, in a way, kind of made me lose trust in God, too. Um, also, on a different aspect, growing up, I compared myself to my older sister a lot. She's four years older than me, and I always thought she was the perfect child. I could never be like her. Um, so I kind of gave up on working really hard to be the good person I knew that I could be. Um, I was really selfish all through high school, focused on popularity, on just like pleasing myself um, as opposed to pleasing God and taking steps I knew God wanted me to take. Um, so yeah, high school was kind of a bumpy road for me, figuring out who I was. Um, sophomore year, I got in trouble for a lot of things and I realized I don't want to be this person anymore. So I transferred from a public high school to a Christian high school, and um, my journey and relationship with God really started to progress there. Um, yeah, so that was just kind of the beginning of my actual seriousness for the Lord. Um, and then college came around. I graduated high school, and I joined what I'm in now called Thrive School. Um, and that was last year. I graduated 2017. So last year was a crazy year for me. It's probably the biggest part of my testimony. Um, I was still very selfish and just did a lot of things to make me feel happy. And um, I didn't bring anything to the Lord or ask or really think about what the Lord wanted for me. It was just all about what I wanted. And I was in a relationship Um starting the summer before last year and it was really unhealthy it was really toxic um i found all of my self-worth in him um i wasn't treated correctly by him but i didn't see that in the time um i was put down by him constantly and um but i thought you know like i loved him and i can see future with him so i'm not too worried about it um, slowly it really started to take a toll on me um, and I ended up suffering a really long season of anxiety and depression and um, just not really knowing who I was anymore um, and all this time not really realizing that it was my ex who was causing all of it so um, started to I didn't reach out to God as much as I should have in that time um, and that relationship ended horribly. We went a little too far um, emotionally, and um, he ended up cheating on me. Um, so that was just one of the hardest things for me because ending that relationship was really hard for me because I did love him. Um, but ever since then, um, I've had so many people surrounding me that um, treat me the way I know that I should be treated. Um, I have turned to God with almost every single thing in my life, um, and now I'm just really focused on trusting Him and doing everything in my life for His glory. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed, and thank you.